lab number 213. In this lab, we will continue the development uh, of our electricity consumption checking application. And right now, we will continue with uh, modifying our template pages. And right now, we will focus on intro page. So, intro page we will take from uh, the Ionic intro uh, demo project. So, we will just need to look for Ionic intro on web. And this is exactly the project we are looking for. So this is the simple intro, three slides, uh, just exactly what we need. So basically, let's start with uh, copying everything that is inside Ion view together with it. Uh, I mean, for for intro. And we will replace uh, with it everything we have currently in our intro page, just like this. So the next, next thing for us, uh, because we are using the navigation buttons, is actually to include a navigation uh, bar in our intro page. So let's do it also by copying it from tabs page and past inside intro. just like this. So next step for us to be able to navigate to this intro page is to modify the login page by changing uh, the ng click action. So right now it leads to nothing. We need to uh, either provide the function launch demo, either to do something else, but uh, let's define this function. So it's still login controller. Uh, we should operate with the state by changing it. So let's add dependency to state and let's define this function. And the only thing it will do for now, it will actually go to other state, which is called uh, intro. So just like this. Uh, let's check how our app is working. Yeah, so we are now uh, got into intro page. It's looking a bit strange, but anyway, we will need to work with it uh, in a few seconds. So uh, next step for us will be to copy a bit of styles. So uh, we will copy everything here and then we will remove that is not needed. So let's pass it into our style CSS file. So we don't need logo from here. We don't need list things here. We just need slide uh, height and uh, then the slider um, font and everything like that. And then the button, just like this. So let's save this. And the last thing we need actually to add uh, our controller code. So we will just take the controller from there and replace the code from that controller. Um, take the code from that controller and replace ours empty intro controller with that code. So just like this. Let's see now how our app is looking like. Yeah, much better. So it's already working. Uh, we also need to provide some kind of um, some kind of those dots at the bottom so we will know on which page we are now. So we can do it by going to Ionic documentation um, to JavaScript and then slide box. And there on the bottom we will see that actually we need to specify show pager parameter. Uh, to true to, to be able to show that uh, pager at the bottom. So let's do it here on Ion slide box.
rule set show pager to true and let's see how it looks now yes so we see the pager at the bottom it's already working excellent so what next uh, next we don't need back button uh, to be shown uh, our bar will be bar light instead of stable the same as a login page so let's now check once again from the login page how the navigation looking so we have our login page if we go into demo we don't have a back button excellent and actually what we have is to, we have a chance to skip intro or go to the next page then to previous slides and then start using my app which is a bit uh, large uh, as for name so let's rename it so something like previous of course everything that we are uh, doing here will be translated so in our case uh, we will use I'm going to translate for doing that so something like this for our previous slide uh, yeah and we will have the same construction for skip intro let's call it skip and we will have the next the same construction for next and something like launch for, for starting demo so those things are ready let's check yep uh, we don't need title on the top so we'll remove it from ion view just like this so let's now work with our text uh, let's split it to uh, something like uh, intro intro one header and then we will have of course the same for a second one it will be uh, just the same construction we don't need any logo for now uh, and then we will have uh, intro one text just like this and then we will probably provide some kind of picture but it will be later when we will create those pictures so the same for a second slide i will have intro to header and intro to text and the same will be for a third one so intro 3 header and intro 3 text so let's check how it's looking yep just as expected uh, centered excellent yeah so now if we are either clicking skip or clicking launch we should navigate to my tasks so uh, actually it's two functions called uh, it's one function called startup in both cases no matter what button skip or launch we are clicking so Let's go to our controller. So the state that we will need to navigate if we are clicking start up should be my tasks, just like this. Now let's check what's happening. So it cannot resolve this. Uh, can resolve this state. Let's check our app.js. Yeah, because the link should be a bit different. We should be inside tasks, uh, inside the tasks. But this means that uh, we should be uh, also inside tab. So first of all, we should load this abstract class. So the state will look like this. Uh, tab my task instead of just 
uh, my tasks. So let's do it. So now it should work. Yep, and now we are uh, getting into our tabs uh, with my tasks. So uh, actually we completed this uh, preview uh, for this intro and now we can work on our tabs. So we will start with working on the first tab. So let's open tabs HTML and change the names of the tabs. So this will be my tasks. Uh, so second one, second one will be uh, available tasks. And third one will be exit, just as we agreed. And then we will need also to change the icons. So let's pick something from uh, Ionic icons. So we'll go to, to Google and search for Ionic icons. Um, yeah. So let's pick something. And let's proceed with iOS icons. So, for example, this one will be for uh, particular my tasks. So, outline and regular for um, actually clicked and not clicked version. So, if it's uh, non-selected we will use outline version if it's selected we will use the bold one strong one just like this let's preview yes excellent so for all tasks let's select something like uh, this so i called it documents so the same idea outline when it's off and strong when it's active just like this and the last one for exit uh, let's use this for example the arrow so just like this yeah so our icons are ready uh, next step is actually to work with the pages and let's start with my task so my tasks page uh, will have a title my tasks of course just like this so here instead of all of that uh, we will need just to have information about our current tasks and when we will just open the page in most cases it will be shown that we don't have any tasks so let's just implement some kind of simple div and and that will be active only if uh, number of tasks will be zero but we'll add the check later so right now we are interested in some kind of uh, text here like uh, you do not have any tasks but of course uh, because it's uh, like a variable it's easier to just specify something like no tasks Uh, and then we will also need to use a translate filter of course and one more thing here is the second line something like uh, look for available tasks so I will copy this one pass here uh, once again 
look for uh, available tasks, something like this. And then, of course, view title should be also available. So we should have something like my tasks here. Yeah, uh, we don't need any padding, so this can be removed. Or actually, let's leave it for now and then we will decide. Uh, so basically, we completed this first page without any logic and any styles, it just works. So uh, let's do the same for a second one for available tasks. And this is all tasks for us. So here what we will need to do, uh, we will need to provide again the, the title. It will be all tasks. Yes. And inside we will have the following structure. We will have our first part of our screen uh, related to actually the tasks. So uh, just simple list. And the second part will be the map when we will see those tasks come. So we will start with the, some kind of grid system. And for that, of course, as always, we will go to Ionic documentation and look for CSS and grid at the bottom. So actually what we will do, we will uh, specify two rows. Uh, we don't need uh, more than one column for, for now, but uh, maybe we will need it later. So we'll just copy this code and pass it here. So just like this. Uh, next thing that we will need to do here is uh, let's let's preview how it looks. Yep, excellent. So next thing for us is actually to implement some kind of list as we agreed. So let's pick up a list from uh, documentation. It should be actually a combination of this, so something like uh, this one, but uh, icon should be on another side and icon should be clickable. And uh, also we need the span text and also we need an address uh, below, so this for sure will be a combination. So let's just grab something like this. So let's paste it here. And just like this, let's preview what we have. Yep, uh, idea to remove padding was quite logical, so let's do it now. And something like this. So now actually inside um, our list we need to make uh, small changes. So first of all we will remove those uh, icons on the left side, we don't need them. But we may need them on the right side, so let's check how it will look if we will just change the side of an icon. Um, yep, it's looking pretty okay. So, uh, we will need to change it uh, everywhere. So, let's do the same here for our record album. Yep, 
so now what we will need to do also is actually to chain this span things to just an item so in this case it will be third and in other two it will be second and first so let me just do it something like this yep so next step uh, is actually to uh, remove that small icon on on call me and uh, because we don't need it we don't need icon on the left and just right side and it seems like this one is not visible so for now let's just use telephone just like this so it, for, for it to be visible and then we will need instead of those names uh, we will need to add the village name or the city name we will need to add uh, account number and we will need also to add address uh, below this name so let's try to do it in the following way let's just hard code it for for now like city and account and then of course we will change that so just like this all the icons will be changed to something else like add icon let's pick something like this one Yeah, of course we need to do it a bit differently. We need to replace just this part and leave the icon as is. Yep, like this. And it doesn't look really nice, so we will need to pick up something else. Let's just pick up this plus. It will be easier. And it should look nicer. Yep, just like this. And then we need to add an address. Uh, let's try to do it uh, with P underneath. Something like address. Yep, it's not really great. Uh, let's change it to, to div and then we will decide how to work with it. Uh, when we will be talking about styles, let's just as some class here like uh, address something like this so uh, basically this is how it should look for an address and uh, we will also need to create uh, on a top level uh, just a small let's say divider or something like that and specify how many tasks in total we have together with the current date so let's do it maybe a divider will be suitable for that so uh, let just pick divider and try to put it uh, before our tasks just like this 
Yep, and then we can also specify a span for this divider. Most probably it will work. Yep, just like this. So here we will say something like total tasks and the number three. And here we will say today's date. So let's just put something dummy for now. Yep, just like this. And uh, what else? Uh, else we will need to add the map here. So instead of this call, we will actually need to display the map. But we will work on this map uh, in our next lab. On this step, our lab to 13 is finished. Thank you.